Good day ladies and gentlemen, Rosa here of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Our video for today is about the quantification of survey data based on the March survey results of SWS as shown by renowned TV and social media personality Mr. Anthony Taberna, kindly follow all his social media accounts on all platforms. Thank you. We reiterate that we got these results online. Before we start, may we first make a few simple requests. Please don't skip ads as this allows us to remain independent. Second, we have noticed that a lot of viewers have not subscribed yet. Please do so, it would help us a lot. If you like the video, kindly share it so you can help us to inform others of relevant information. Lastly, we promote a healthy discourse in the comment portion. Just be mindful of the words you use as this is a direct reflection of you as a person. Thank you. Based on the results that we were able to obtain online. These are the preference shares of our presidential aspirants as of March 2022 on SWS survey data. But first, kindly focus your attention on the topmost row that indicates the preference share of former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. based on the SWS survey results over time. From October to March, there were four studies conducted. As can be clearly seen on the topmost row, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s preference share started last October 2021 at 47%. It increased to by 4 percentage points to 51% last December 2021 but dipped slightly by 1 percentage point to 50% last January. This is a negligible drop as this falls within the study's margin of error over time. The last entry on the topmost row shows the preference share obtained by former Senator Ferdinand Marcos last month, March. His preference share increased by 8 percentage points to 58%. We can also imagine or visualize the trajectory or his preference shares over time. In the case of VP Lenny Robredu, her preference share for the month of March indicates that she received 18% or a 1 percentage point from the figure last January which stood at 19%. It is also important to note that the preference share of the three other presidential candidates decreased from last January's figures. Specifically our Manila Mayor Isco's decrease of 5 percentage points, Senators Manny Pacquiao and Ping Laksen's decrease of 4 percent percentage points each. Those things being explained, kindly focus your attention on the last column March 2022. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with 58 percent preference share. He is followed by VP Lenny Robredu with 18%. Third is Senator Manny Pacquiao with 7% preference share nationwide. He is followed by Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso who is in fourth place with 6%. Next is Senator Ping Laxon with 2% preference share nationwide. Let us now look back at the results of our call yet survey summary for the month of March period 1 to 15, 2022 with 3,000 respondents and the distribution of the respondents is based on the number of registered voters per region. The margin of error in this summary is plus minus 2% and the confidence level set at 95%. Undecided is 13.23% in descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with 54.2%. He is followed by VP Lenny Robredo with 13.4%. Statistically tied for third and fourth places are Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso with 9% and Senator Manny Pacquiao with 8.5% preference shares. They are followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 1.8% preference shares nationwide. Let us now do a simple layman comparison of the SWS and Splat Kaylee survey summary. 
This is just a simple comparison and not based on data science nor this is subject to the rigors of strict statistical procedures. Kindly focus your attention on the figures at the bottom row enclosed in the red rectangle. The difference between the two studies per presidential candidate are as follows, for Senator Ping Laksen, 0.2%. For Senator Manny Pacquiao, 1.5%. For VP Lenny Robredu, 4.6%. For Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso, 4%, and for former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., 4%. What does these figures mean? Based on the simple layman comparison, these figures show that the two studies did not have any major significant statistical difference. It means the results are similar. The results validate each other. Kindly take note that SWS surveys are scientific studies that adhere to clear and precise methodologies. Let us now quantify the results of the SWS survey. We quantify survey data in order to present a better or clearer picture beyond just preference share percentages. We shall quantify these percentages based on the actual total number of registered voters. Furthermore, we shall estimate the votes by using 82% as the possible voter turnout come election time. Voter turnout means the percent of the people who actually voted. This 82% is based on the voter turnout last national elections. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s 58% preference share is equivalent to around 32,103,000 votes. VP Lenny Robredu's 18% preference shares is approximately equivalent to 9,963,000 votes. Senator Manny Pacquiao's 7% preference shares is estimated to be equivalent to 3,874,500 votes. The 6% preference share of Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso is approximately equivalent to 3,321,000 votes. The 2% preference share of Senator Ping Laksan is equivalent to 1,107,000 votes. We can now compute for the estimated leads of the first to third rank presidential candidates by deducting their estimated votes. The lead of first-ranked former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. over second-ranked VP Lenny Robredu would yield approximately 22,140,000 votes. Repeat, around 22.1 million votes. The possible lead of former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. over third-ranked Senator Manny Pacquiao is 28 million. 228,500 votes while the lead of VP Lenny Robredo over Senator Manny Pacquiao is approximately around 6,088,500 votes. Analysis, Splat Analysis This analysis is our own opinion and interpretation of the quantified survey data that we have just presented. Everyone is free to agree or disagree with. However, being in disagreement does not give anyone the right to ridicule, mock or throw baseless accusations against anyone. Based on the total vote lead of first-ranked candidate former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. over second-ranked VP Lenny Robredu, this is equivalent to approximately around 22,140,000 votes and if this is divided by the remaining days left before election day this would yield 992,500 votes per day. The camp of second rank VP Lenny Robredo would need to gain and or convert around 992,000 votes per day. On the other hand, the camp of Senator Manny Pacquiao would need to convert approximately 1,176,188 votes per day. Does anyone this any of these is possible or doable? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. If anyone wishes to contact us, you may do so via FB Messenger chat. Kindly support our FB page as well. Thank you.
We have reached the end of today's video. In behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.